Beautiful Isla Mijeras, Mexico, boasts one of the best beaches in the world, has some terrific restaurants, bars, and a shopping district, all within walking distance from the ferry. But there is so much more to experience on this island, and one popular way to get around is by renting a golf cart. In this video, we talk about renting a golf cart on the island, important things you should know about driving a golf cart on the island, and compare two popular rental companies based on our research and our experience using them. Those two companies are Megaseros and Indios. Welcome to Scenic Sights and Bites. We spent a week on beautiful Isla Mujeres, Mexico, just a short 15 minute ferry ride from Cancun, Mexico. We stayed at a resort right on Playa Notre, the North Beach, which was conveniently located close to many tourist services. But to truly get an appreciation of everything the island has to offer, we needed transportation. While the island does have taxis, as well as a bus, we wanted the freedom to go explore many different locations at our own pace and make the most of our time. The solution was to rent either a golf cart or a scooter. So we decided on a golf cart. If you've never been to Isla Mujeres, it might be surprising to see the streets comprised mainly of golf carts and scooters. With the exception of a lot of taxis, there are not very many cars seen driving around the island. Other than the main roads, many of the streets are one way, very narrow, with few places to park. So the smaller the vehicle, the better. Renting the cart is quite easy. You need to have a valid driver's license, be at least 18 years old, and agree to their rental terms. The rental company will keep your license until you return the cart and pay your bill in full. Your rental rate typically includes gas and insurance. Many places will accept credit cards or cash in either US dollars or Mexican pesos, but be aware, if you pay with a credit card, you might be charged an additional service fee. If you're reserving your cart in advance, which is highly recommended during high season, then you will have to pay in advance. Again, typically by credit card, but some places may request PayPal or some other form of payment. Again, you will likely encounter service fees for this privilege of using these cards. And the company may also require you to reserve a minimum number of days. Now, if you do plan on renting a golf cart for a shorter duration, or if it's a last minute rental, then get to the golf cart rental office as soon as they open for your best chance of getting a decent golf cart before they're all sold out. Mexico has lots of topas, Tope. speed bumps, Tope. topes, topes, lots of speed bumps. And unmarked run one way roads and all sorts of good stuff. Most golf carts are similar in style. Some have storage bins, but like the cart, they're typically open and not locking. Don't leave anything in the golf cart because it likely won't be there when you get back. So take a backpack or some other similar bag so you can always keep your belongings with you. You don't want to be charged for the cost of damages to the cart. So follow these 10 simple tips. When you are given your rental, take pictures or a video of the vehicle noting any damage. Make sure you fully understand how to operate the golf cart. Don't abuse the golf cart, slow down for speed bumps, watch out for potholes, there are many, and keep right to allow faster vehicles to pass on the left. Be aware of your surroundings. Not everyone follows the rules of the road, so be aware of other carts, scooters, cars, and even people around you. Don't exceed the four-person limit for a four-seater golf cart. Pay attention to the direction of traffic. There are many one-way streets on the island. Don't drink and drive. On Isla Mujeres, there is a zero tolerance and the police will stop you. Make sure to apply the parking brake and lock the golf cart and always take your key when you go anywhere. Don't park in any no parking zones. They're often marked with an E with the red line through the middle in a circle. Make sure only licensed drivers 18 and older are operating the vehicle. Before this trip to Isla Mujeres, we did a fair bit of research to see which of the many rental companies had good ratings and which ones were consistently being recommended by travelers. We narrowed it down to two companies that we wanted to use during this trip, Megaseros and Indios. So let's take a closer look at these two and see how they compare. The first company we rented from was Megaseros. Our research found many positive experiences with this company from online forums and review websites. We especially liked the fact that they had many new reliable vehicles 
The carts have two people facing forward and two people facing backwards. We rented this cart for two days and didn't have any issues with it at all. It had plenty of power. It was faster than the other carts from the other companies. They seemed to be slightly more expensive than some other companies, but the quality of the carts made it worth it for us and it included the gas and insurance. The biggest complaint that we found online was that they can be difficult to contact, whether you're trying to reserve or contact them after hours if you have an issue. As of the posting of this video, they did not have a website or online booking service. I have also heard that they can take days to respond to Facebook messages. So make sure you have a current phone number for them if you rent a cart. When I arrived at their location, I was promptly greeted by a friendly employee. Hola. Okay, hola. So I just rented my golf cart and uh, it's number 40. Number 40, it's ready now. It's ready now and this is uh, Berenice. 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 My name is Berenice and nice to meet you guys. <laughs> very nice to meet you and uh, thank you very much. See You're you in a couple of sir. days. Okay. Bye. Bye. Next, let's take a look at Indios. Indios was the second company we rented from. Our research found many positive experiences with this company as well on online forums and review websites. They have a mix of newer and older carts. They're standard four seat cart seats, two people forward and two people backwards. They also have larger carts though, where all four passengers face forward for an extra charge. However, these carts, because they're larger, might be a little bit slower. We rented our cart for one day. We really liked the convenience of the drop-off and pickup service. As they were busy, I think we ended up with an older cart since we rented last minute. Our cart was about average speed, not the fastest, but certainly not the slowest either. We initially had some problems getting the cart to start after sitting for a while, but we called and they explained that this cart has a prime button you have to press, which we initially weren't aware of, and this fixed the problem. The cart though was still a little bit sluggish when you first take off after coming to a complete stop. And one of the rear tires was bald, but it didn't seem to affect anything. Their pricing seemed to be comparable and included gas and insurance. They do have high PayPal and credit card service fees, which were six and 8% the last time I looked. They have 24 hour service for any problems and will also deliver gas every couple of days. The biggest complaints that we found was that some of their older carts needed maintenance and they were slow. Indios delivered the car to our resort and we did the paperwork at that time. The employees that dropped it off were friendly to deal with. Indios golf cart rentals. So we're just dealing with the uh, rental agreement right now. We're renting it for 24 hours. So we'll be returning it uh, tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Okay, so the cart I was showing you there when we were doing the registration, that's the cart that they drove down. That's not the cart we get. So this is the cart we're getting here. And it is, it's not quite in as good condition. The back tires are bald. I don't know if people have been doing burnouts on them. It does have a basket in the front. When we were done, we called them and they came and picked up the cart, which saved us having to walk back from their location. Now, before we share our final thoughts on these two companies, if you found this video helpful, kindly click on the like button and consider sharing it. If you want to see more helpful videos from us, then subscribe and ding that bell icon so you get notified whenever we release a new video. Also, if you found value in this and you want to help support the channel so we can continue making these informative videos, then you can click on the thanks button and send us a small gift. Thank you very much. And now back to the review. So our review of these two companies is based on the results of our own experiences, as well as researching experiences from other users. There are many other golf cart rental companies on the island though, and we haven't personally used most of them. So make sure you do your own research to find the right company for you. After using both carts to tour the island, our favorite was the Mega Ceros cart. It was newer, it ran great, looked great, and was faster than the Indios cart. However, Indios did beat Ceros for customer service with their pickup and drop off, as well they were slightly less expensive. Overall, I would say both companies were easy to deal with and the carts did the job they were supposed to do. I would have no problem using or recommending either of these two companies in the future. Just park, park right here, yeah. Okay, I can't freaking park with your big arms in my way. Must be all that working out I do. <laughs> oh my god, is this not power steering? You don't need power steering, it's a small vehicle. I know, but I can't freaking steer. 
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are witnessing. Shut up. <laughs> I can't move the steering wheel. Well, it's easier to turn while you're while the vehicle's moving. Well, it's not easy to turn this wheel at all. Cut in, cut in, cut in, cut in. You can do it. Ugh. Okay. Oh, perfect, perfect. Stop there. Okay, hit the brake hard. Hard, hard as jam. Okay, good. Oh. Okay, <laughs> Callie. <laughs> Now I have to edit that out. Sorry, you can park next time on my hands. Now before you go, if you'd like more tips on Isla Harris, go ahead and click on this picture on the left. And to see our newest videos, go ahead and click on the picture on the right. Until next time, thanks for watching.